Well, we started looking at uh, telehealth uh, about 12, 18 months ago and started looking at using new ways of providing new diagnostic and, and aid tools for our community teams to manage patients with long-term conditions. For this particular pilot, we decided that we'd concentrate purely on COPD patients in central Lancashire, particularly in the Preston locality. What we decided on is we'd give them a home device system that they could actually monitor their own symptoms and do their own vital sign measurements. But what we also put into this particular package was a set of questions, what we call care protocols, which actually let them look at their conditions, try and trigger um, them to think about when things are not quite the norm for their particular condition. To the patients, the benefit is that they are maintained in their own home and are, are closely monitored in terms of their condition, so any deterioration is picked up early, thus avoiding the, the necessity to be admitted to hospital. In addition, they have the benefit of the fact that they, they don't have to wait at home waiting for a visit from a nurse. They can do their, their call and then go out for the rest of the day, which is quite important if you, you're managing a long-term problem. The telehealth project in the central Lancashire area came about because we wanted to look at a number of issues. We had a higher incidence of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in this particular area. We wanted to see how technology could be used in clinical practice along with patients. Most of these people haven't been used to the internet or a few have used technology type devices. But what we've done when we first put it into the actual home, we've gone with the patient along with either a representative from GE who's been working very close with us to actually show them how to use the technology. Um, go through all the, the questions that we'd ask, show them how to put their peripheral devices onto themselves and let them practice. And what we found is they find it very easy to use now and they like the input that they can just a phone call away or a video link away. Even though they're not having a home visit maybe quite as often, they can actually have a good rapport with the whole of the team. Well the monitoring enables the patient to be maintained within their, their own home and the matrons can actually um, monitor, monitor their progress and track their progress against a, a set number of metrics which the patient records themselves. So they may measure their own oximetry, their own, their own blood pressures, their own weights and so on. And the matron can then track that progress and make sure that they're maintained within a, 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 set, a set of standards. At the moment this is still very early in its development. Um, the technology is well established but certainly if we look across the northwest we have now multiple sites with small small number of units run within each in each area. As we, as we go on the number of patients that can be covered will increase and the number of conditions that can be dealt with by telemedicine will similarly increase. The sky's the limit really.